we should be live now i mean there's no reason why we shouldn't be um you'd hope it's not quite started on my screen is all it's worrying me oh there's an ad there we go it is kicking off so what we're doing today is i've decided we're going to do some gum aiming i'm probably going to turn off my actual overhead light because that one's a lot more nice just creates a better atmosphere doesn't it um i say that but i don't mean it so hello sirs right okay let's tweet out the stream let's share it everywhere where it can be shared okay join us there we go get every man in the stream that we can get um okay so where's my controller it's over here how are we doing everybody it's me the boy the lord i am the god i don't know where everyone is why have we only got five people here a hundred thousand viewers and only five people show up to the fucking stream jesus christ come on oh there we go it's kicking off now so how's this controller doing it's uh it's fully charged See so yeah, see how lovely and nice this um this all looks. How you doing, sir? Morning, Arthur. So yeah, I've messed around with the um the saturation settings and things to try to create the best image possible. I think it's worked. Hello there, little Jack. I thought I'd get Red Dead Redemption one this week. Just don't turn into me. You promise? Okay, Uncle Arthur. <laughs> It's funny because that's almost exactly what he does. Um, Jack is Jack is the most cold-blooded of them all when he gets down to it. Okay, we're gonna go over to the big T here because that's the best one to go for, I believe. L love for Lord Fishy. I am fine then. How are you? I'm doing deeds. Trelawn. Slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, oh, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head. Not Love for Lord Fishy. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? I have a comb and I'm going to use it to cut up people who who's ready to get combed. Let's go. Hi, Ethan. It's whoa. Do you have high honor? I hope so. I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Mount my horse. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. Hello, Fishy. Hello, sir. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? At least he's not making low places in friends. Now that would have an entirely different meaning. This way. Some expenses to meet. Actually, you know what I think? I can't know a Lancaster repeat is what we want. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits and bullets. How's your day, mate? Well, I mean, we're streaming, so not bad. I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Oh no, what a shame. That's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. Yes, sir. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. 
I do like me a bit of roads. It's the it's a very you know what's the word colourful place. Funnily enough, the, aesthetically it's pleasant, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the fucking door. Well, it's not the door. Look at the wall. How yellow do you want that to be? Oh yeah, I can't pull my weapons off my horse. They have to stay. That's fine. Trelawney. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Worker. Gray. Stranger. Trelawney. Or as some people like to think, the strange man. Those people tend to be the strange ones themselves. Hello there. Good morning to you. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. Alden. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. A terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Don't forget to leave a like on the stream, share with your friends, hit subscribe if you're new, I'd really appreciate that. They just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the good old car. This of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here... As a present for you. Hello, sir. Trelawney does not seem like an odd. F does seem like an odd fellow. He's just a West member, isn't he? Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Look at Arthur's beard getting longer and longer. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Fellow called Hector. <laughs> Alden's <laughs> fellow called Hector. Oh, no. Again? Discouraged men. Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not sure how to take that encounter half the time. So tomorrow the um, Assassin's Creed DLC final episode drops and I look forward to getting that out of the way. Anyways, back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. I was thinking this was going to start at 9pm. Initially it was, but then I moved it forward. I might... Who knows, I might stream again at 9pm. It's no promises sort of deal, but who knows what will happen, because... Just, you know, do the deeds. There we are, look at how glorious this game looks. Recognize <laughs> you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroads, okay? Alright. Right, old boy. Imagine playing Odyssey after playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Yuck. Yeah, it's going to have to be done because I want to get Odyssey out of the way. So that I don't have to worry about it ever again. I'm sure there'll be a few videos and a few fantasies left to do. But I don't want the compulsion to do more, you know, story content in a game that just doesn't do anything right. I'm hoping we won't need those. 
Better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. <laughs> this is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Lock breaker. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for one. See, what I could do is go down there and shoot people up. Not looking forward to replaying this game because I'm going to cry out loud, Lamau. Yeah, it's one of those games where you can just cry because it's it it gives you low times. Shoot, 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 but honor. Look at that honor, that's what I'm trying, I'm trying to get the... This can't be good. Study the horse. Just try a horse. Ah. Sneak in, robbery, take the money pile, leave undetected. Wait for the stagecoach to leave. That worked. We won't gain honor either. Yeah, but I mean, murdering people. You won't lose honor when you kill any all of them. Trust me. I'd still rather not. This is the better way to do things then. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, Dog's going teamwork. crazy. Well, that's because there's a delivery van out there. I'm going to go see what that's about. I'll be right back. Be sure to share the stream while I'm off. It won't be long. With any luck.
We're good. Don't have to worry about it. Cardio wouldn't be long. Um, it's nothing to do with me. Was a delivery to this house though, so that is no worry. So let's um, continue. Thank you. I should have left this running because I know the cutscene. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Stop shit posting, please. Oh, I got a good take there. Of two hundred dollars. Very useful. Okay, let's abscond into the woods. Wait, fish you've never seen again. Oh, wait, there he is. I don't really like the John mission that's there, to be honest, because you're just rustling horses. Not my kind of shit, but you know what to say. Got any more opera singers for me to rob? Good morning, Arthur. What time is it in the game? It's 11.35 a.m., and I've just found Trelawney out here. Well, that's because he was he's heading back from that mission, isn't he? Anyways, we best have a little gander over here, I guess. This man's having a piss. Doesn't seem asked about me seeing his his micro penis. Where's my fence boy? Ah. Look at his face. So what can we buy? We can purchase a lion's paw trinket. But I have no idea what it does. Hello, sir. Glad to have a new patron come to you. Hey there, girl. It's from the there, It's from the Margaret shenanigans. That's all I know. Look at how glorious this game looks when you up the saturation in Elgato ever so slightly. Doesn't do very much favours for the faces, but for the um, the overall aesthetic of the game, yeah. Why does the clock in the pause menu say the right time? I don't know. It says it says the in-game time. Cut in front of these bastards. Let's waddle. Do 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 do. Cheeky gaming. Yeah. Boy, this game looks wank on YouTube. What do you mean? It looks great. All dirty fucking plebs in roads. Jesus. Someone's not a fan of the roads, gang. Howdy. Hey there, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Must get boring and all that standing around. Oh. <sighs> Here we are. I can just pull out a gun, but I don't think that's wise. I think it's more wise to just waddle. Who is this boy? Uh, please come in, sir. Oh, he's a nicely dressed young man. I like this fella. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend. Talks like a robot. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. <laughs> cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Mm -hmm. Classic time. 
So what's the job? Oh, it's this is the burn the farms business, right. isn't it? Nope. Ah, yes, classic time. But then you realise he's a slave. Come on. Blow yourself up after the cutscene to prevent the glitch. What glitch? I don't want. I don't want to blow myself up to, to right, prevent a glitch. We'll experience the glitch. Oh yeah, I'm driving, not Sean. You was crying in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. That smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? To prevent the glitch. What? What, what glitch? Said they had rain in weeks round here. Subserving slaves, I'm offended. I mean, slavery was abolished, so he's there by will, essentially. You'd think. Like, slavery, legally speaking, has been abolished, so he's just a nice man. I mean, they would have been slavers. Don't know if they still are. He's pranking you, don't get pranked. Yeah. He's not pranking. When will I to progress the mission? Will it not? Because I've never had an issue with that. There might be a glitch, but if there was a glitch that did that, then I think, um, I, well, if it was for everyone, if that happened for everyone, they would have noticed and patched it by now. However, I've experienced not that, because I've... I don't remember having to blow myself up in this mission. There is no glitch. Never come across that kind of glitch. No, me neither. Meat wagon. If anybody's seen my latest video, meat wagon is quite funny. For, the, for, for various reasons. The best, the best hat in Red Dead Online is donned. And it makes it a beautiful time, and you should definitely enjoy. I'm overtaking this sir, and he can't stop me. I am the best. Get pranked. He's pranking you. Yes, I didn't have the glitch. See, didn't work. The gun's popping out. <laughs> oh no. I like chilling in the back here, it's lovely. What you want, boy? I've I've there, there was a thing a, a thing at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle friend here? Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I mean you no harm. <laughs> I've come from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there. Okay. They said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. This is the glitch where you go on fire because of what's everyone thought about. Just don't light yourself on fire. Okay, after this, you're fine. Zara wasn't pranking you. I have no intention of doing it. All right, cool. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you 
and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Hello, Ethan. Hello, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a burb, burb, sorry about that. But, but uh, welcome to the, welcome to this room. So you go, it's going far, but I don't know what's going on. Why is this game? This is Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, title. A, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because there's some folks got all the money. They can build quite that. <coughs> Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. So much for putting that mask on. Belated happy birthday. Much appreciated. Hey, you know, Unless you're talking good. to somebody else, and then that's also things, cool. Lady. Skyrim. Okay. Actually, watching the new Alien TV I got from Area 51. Cool. Does anyone know where to find the goddamn bull moose? Oh, uh, what? You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. One second. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> I mean, these boys you think you need, they should do it. Yeah. Let's head out the back. Have a look at that. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back. So, so I've just been. My mother just knocked on the door to give me a belated birthday gift. So we're gonna have a. Uh, we're gonna have a look at that. Let's have a look, shall we? So this big bastard thing. This is like a portrait of something. A painting. I don't know what of from display which is great um sorry about this we just want to get this out of the way so uh, we're clogging up yeah this is pretty cool uh, it's nice yeah just one second let me just i will have i'll be back with the stream just want to get this cracked open see what it is let's have a look Okay, it's um, it's Metal Gear Solid, which is you know pretty cool. Cool. I mean, I've not touched Metal Gear Solid since three. <laughs> um, but I appreciate the gift all the same. From I'll deal with that later. Okay. Back to it. Sorry about that. It had to be done. It's not Ethan's birthday, by the way. It's um, belated. Yeah, it was the twelfth. What you got there? Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the field. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. <laughs> we was boys. You the field. 
We'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Yeah, it's sweet, isn't it? It's nice. I believe it's also from my brother. Which is always appreciated. That's good. Alright, next. Okay, we're using the moonshine as flammable materials. Yeah, found beside the White Arabian, still no luck so far. What's that? In chapter 2, hunting for the bull moose. Bull moose? Is that a creature that, you know, exists? I think someone's probably pulling your leg, because I've never heard of a bull moose. Unless it is a thing, and someone can confirm that a bull moose is in the game. Now there's vampires and shit. Well, there's a vampire. There's not vampires, plural. There's a vampire in Saint Denis, in there. Fish, you like moonshine? Well, I mean, I've never tried moonshine. All I know is it's flammable and explosive, and that's why we're using it as lighter fluid. It's essentially like drinking alcoholic petrol. Though, that's because alcohol is flammable. And since it's not properly, you know, feed in, shine. Yeah, Sean's just a serial killer. Okay, let's... Hang on a second. Right, okay, I need to... I'll be back in a Equip fire bottles, let's go. Goodbye. 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 Take out the Grey's guards. Lovely. Murder time. I like this outfit, it's cool. So yeah, sorry about all the interruptions, but yeah. Gotta be done, unfortunately. On the stomach, cry on the chest. I think that was a solid shot. I like using dead eye. Run away, because that's what Sean's surely to Christ doing. Come on. Shit. Lord of the bastards. Almost got you. Now, we're ready to die. Ah. This is a guy 
Look at all the fire, though. Took that guy out with a shot to the arm or something. Well, it's on fire in that. Pretty sick. Any chance you could like hurry up, Sean? Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. Right, follow me. Let's let's just you know, in order to get out of here, we're gonna have to run straight through the burning fields as opposed to just running straight out. You know, using the cover of the smoke to avoid being located. No, instead, we just have to go all the way back through it, right back through the property that we've just burned. And caused a real trouble for. Well done. Well done, fucking horse. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bull moose is north of Ansberg. Yes, it's time to game. It is me, gaming sir. I think we lost them. Are we dead? Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. <sighs> what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Yes, let's gander. Ask for bull moose. Okay, so the bull moose does come into the Ansberg part of things. We're not quite in the Ansberg area though. There's no real reason to go there until chapter six. So you know why would you? Is my thought process. I can find a place to put this plate, which I. I think I'm going to put it on the outside of the door. That or I might switch things around. Here we are. Home sweet home. Yep. I... What share did I... I got another $200 for that. M. That's never good. Don't like to see an M on my screen. That means Micah. One pound by Paul Fox. I really appreciate it, man. Cheers for the one pound super chat. It is much appreciated. What do you mean it's already morning? <laughs> yeah, nah, it's not. We're going to sleep. Reset that dead eye core, get us started. Do you know Dutch has a plan? Uh, yeah, he's, he's he kind of makes it our business that he has a plan, doesn't he? I've already killed the legend moose. <laughs> legend moose. <laughs> Sorry, that, that wasn't supposed to be funny, was it? It was, it was, it was, it was pretty great. Okay, what's my honor looking like? Good, right, story. There is no Sasquatch. Hmm. There's no confirmed Sasquatch. However, there is a big man in a cave who chats, probably just a big man. And there are giants, get, there's a giant skeleton on Mount Hagen. Is that right? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes, 
I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. You tell him, fat man. Mm, fat man. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. And they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. So what's the we point? To lose finding out. Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. This is the one where there's like a time skip afterwards and Arthur's beard goes fucking massive. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Hug from Portugal, Fishy. Much appreciated, Rodrigo Lopez. I appreciate it. I said, I said much appreciated. I appreciate it. Yeah. Lovely times. This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Uh, Mount up, Stan Morgan. Let's go then. Well, what I need to do is get to weapons so I can equip the sniper rifle. Because inevitably, that's what's going to be required, isn't it? Which sniper rifle are we using? That one. You know, I've been fighting Combs for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Fishy is a fishy fish really that smells fishy. JK, sup, Brody? You get... Yeah, I know what happens in this quest. I know I've played the game before. You'd hope so anyway, after all the mystery videos that I'd finished the story. Mighty there, Ethan. Indeed. What's that sign? I have $120 of bounty over there, that'll be why.
situations that could have been safer. I just don't want to hear that they've they're adding Sears motor buggy cars in online. If they are, that'll be pretty fun. <laughs> I hope they do that, but I don't think they will. If they do that, that's, that's going to be fun. <laughs> but I've not heard something like that in myself, so nah. Communism. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterward. We'll be there, partner. There we are. The skeleton up here and all that. So there's Micah and Dutch Vanderlind, the sweetest of men. Where is Colm O'Driscoll and his sweetest sir? Oh, there they are. Congratulations for winning the World Cup. The Cricket World Cup. Oh, yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? Oh, God. Yeah, that happened. Um, I don't watch cricket because uh, I'm not a big fan of sleeping. But I can appreciate it from a distance of not watching it. Better world. Pure world. How's that coming along? Just fine. Let's just screw up a bit. How's that score you stole off? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. Because, like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. We'll take the trouble. They offered me a price, Doug. Bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, I still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. Is that a DX race to see? I don't even know. I, I, I just, I don't know when I bought it. I don't think it was anything. Bang. In if this was gameplay, Arthur would have had time to react to that. He started moving too fast. Hello, sugar. You ain't dead, is you? I don't know. Colum's got a sense. Handing him over to the law. It's I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fucked the whole lot of them. With this fella coming yeah. right, we can draw them all. Is this game gonna shoot us? Black. Black. I got it. I got it. Ow. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Uh, not yet. But I will. Ah! Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Need a story DLC for sure. Did you drink one out of a one litre soda? Well, two litre, but yeah.
Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. My birthday was the 12th. Finally. Put his weapons over there. But I appreciate it just the same. <sighs> I molest you in a basement. Yeah, no, well, sort of. My name is also Ethan. Is it your birthday then? Let's have a look. Is it? Is it, sir? Better be. It's good to see you. Hello, It's really disorienting. Yeah, that's what happens. Whose birthday is it? I don't understand because it's not mine and my name's Ethan. Is it is it Ethan Anderson's in chat? Oh famous car. I know mine was on the twelfth. Um so it's not now, it's not today. Real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had me. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Listen, Son. Christ. Gender not my birthday. It's not mine either. I'm a bit confused. Course. The things Arthur went through in this mission probably made his sickness worse. For sure. Because at this point he is unwell, he just doesn't know it yet. Like he's got tuberculosis now, he's just not aware because he's not got any symptoms yet. There's things like this, damage to the lung, like that. So you trauma to the um trauma to the body, things that the lung needs to, you know. They need the oxygen for it. You need to, you know, he needs the oxygen, but his lungs are fucking him, so. That would hurt a lot. <sighs> Made his tuberculosis symptoms stick out earlier. Might have done, yeah, it would have, it would have. Arthur's lifestyle definitely made him, um. Him progress faster through his illness. So let me show. Well, okay, there's enough of that. What well, we're saying, let's get this open. Let's start swinging, shall we? Let's try to escape. He's trying to get the the thing on the table, isn't he? The candle. That. That's that's what he's trying to get. So we can unlock his. Yeah. Heat this shit up. And now he's gonna. Now he's gonna stop the bleeding. In his wound. What to us do? Well, I was digging out the bullet. I think is what he's doing. There you go. No, I was gonna pour the that in it, and then he's gonna burn it. Okay then. That hurt. Minecraft, play Minecraft. None of that. Hello, sir. It is me, your great dad. Oh, 
I like how they let me keep my money. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. Better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs> Hello, sir. You're deceased and shit at life. Guess I need to collect my gear first, don't I? Tell you what I can try to do. Use a throwing knife. One well aimed throwing knife will probably be. Useful. Well, they've detected me now. That was a nick of time. Okay, so nope, apparently I can't collect my weapons back. I have to just dip. We're set to Clemens Point. Okay, well, that could have been messier, but you know, the last time I absconded without my gear. And nothing bad happened, I just thought it'd be a part of the game somehow. It's not. Your guns are on the outside. Ah, oh, I don't fucking care. I can get them back from camp. Your weapons are there. I can get them back from camp anyway, so it's fine. I don't think he's taken out the bullet. He did take out the bullet, and then he made sure it didn't get infected. Because he wasn't going to leave a bullet in his shoulder, was he? You left your stuff. You can pick up your stuff. Like, I guarantee you it won't matter. Because I didn't do it the first time, and it didn't matter. Why is the horse just chilling on the ground? Why are people trying to spoil it in the chat? It's not like I haven't, you know, played the game before. Arthur. But you're trying to spoil it to ruin it for Arthur. people, so I'm gonna block you. Because you're a cunt. Right. There we go. My boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. I got away. Yeah, trying to ruin people's fun means he's probably like that with everything, so no time for people like that. Of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. That's pretty tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. That's cold. Not really. He was being an arsehole, so I'm going to be an arsehole to him. It's that simple. At the start of the game, I actually kind of liked Micah. It was kind of cool, but you know, yeah, you don't really gauge him properly until chapter two where he starts kicking off you know it's like okay now yeah this is this guy's gonna cause issues a few weeks later look at his beard now i thought i'd be burying you mr morgan well not quite yet river <laughs> see he's got quite the beard oh, about the same as you I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. I never liked per se, but I didn't dislike Micah to begin with. They, they, they don't make you want to hate him. 
Look at look at Arthur's beard now. It's getting glorious. It's getting glorious and long. He's a real hermit of life. Well, it's um. I want to keep his beard because I like it a little bit. But let's let's do a bit of tidying, shall we? There's that. We can trim his beard down. Or we can trim his chops down. And his chin down. Mustache ever so slightly down. There we go, that's where we want to be. So I want to be with our boy Arthur. He's still got most of his beard, but it's getting lovely. That's the second time I've heard that argument. It's Kieran. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho ho! Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Okay, let's go. See? Now, here's the thing. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Come on, Kieran, what are you doing, you Who's fucking gone? prick? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drive? Because I saved your life, Arthur. Mm -hmm. See? All the weapons are still there. So, no need to pick them up from the place. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Lovely young Kieran here. Another great mission, I like this one. Grows beards to length 10. It starts to look wrong because it clips his clothes and things. That's what I'm trying to avoid. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick the spot. What bait we got? Spread out a little bit. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets. Cricket bait then. You got it. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Many bites there, old Driscoll. I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with him a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. The poem goes to a man like Cigar. They ain't like these folks. They barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlim than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm 
I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlint is gonna stick. Keep it coming, but careful. It's a little boy. He's a young man. Now see if you can hook enough. Put some bread on it. You can catch it, it's a legendary fish. Loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, How do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What's going on? What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? Your father's naked as a <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you like this spot? Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. The dog's going crazy. Come on in. The water's wonderful. You here for some fishing? We hope to. You haven't scared them. There's like four there. Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way. Like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's get let's grip the horse. No, I would have remembered this. It's an optional thing you can choose not to do. I, I think this is the place that naked fella was talking about. You see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. Let's go fishing. I hope we land this monster. Uh huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Cast one in then, Arthur. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but... I Are you excited about Cyberpunk 2077? Well, it's alright. Uh, just think now, you... Never be alone again. Where'd you get your horse? Some place. Uh, 
Uh, Valentine is where I got this horse. You got it. That has got to be the one, right? You must be putting up on hell of a fight. Doesn't seem to be getting any closer. Oh, it is. It is. Hello, lovely biscuits, uh... <laughs> oh dear. So 2.5 kilograms small mouth. Yeah, okay. Just keep it. How do you feel about Watchdogs Legion? Oh, that's a game that exists. I'm not particularly big on it, but I reckon it'll be fine. I'm a bit concerned about that gimmick, though. Look at this. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were going to moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. Come scran my scran. Obviously not. It's a little man. A lovely sir. Equip the loveliest of bait. Driscoll boy. Nervy little fella, ain't you? Wouldn't you be? Don't cross us, and you'll be fine. Yep, all right, I'll see ya. Okay then, girl. Micah killed my nan, what should I do? Uh, kill his nan. Simple. Get that revenge. Micah spiked my scrum with MDMA. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> Good old Micah spiking scrum. That's what he does. to be a shotgun idea really. If I'll stop having a nan it'll be like it never happened. Exactly. Nans.
So I'm a naughty scran keeper, wait up. You just scran baked beans like a madman. Straight from a tin like a sociopath. Oh no, that guy's back. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Oh, maybe he just left. Mm -hmm. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. The good old sir. Last time I was here, I burned the place. Don't use weapons or cause trouble in Caliga Hall when you were acting as deputy to Sheriff Gray. Oh, Christ. Horse flesh for dinner. Trouble? Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I'm supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, man. What if Gavin is Jesus and had just got crucified in wherever Jesus was crucified without Nigel knowing? Uh, I have a headache. Like I've just self-diagnosed myself with a headache. <laughs> Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on a boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. Where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. No, over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Hmm. It's a good John Marston line right there. Oh no. Some other job they got going with the grave. 
Oh no. Uh, okay. We're at that end of this chapter. Gaming. Right, here we are, having a big waddle. Careful, there's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Ah. Well, people are gullible. It's classic times. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Andale, boy. Will you do stream part three of the Fate of the Last DLC? Yeah, I will. That'll be tomorrow's work, I think. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working if that's what you're interested in what is it's done uh -huh. Greaser, huh? okay bandana's on don't need nobody recognizing us all right i'll grab the white one in the middle you get the other two relax boy come on good boy Oh, easy, now. easy, easy. You're okay. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, whoa, easy. Hey, easy now. Easy. Why does it take so long to calm him? Why is it taking so long? Give it a pat. Take it sweet time. Wait. He's not dead yet. Right I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, regroup at Clemens Cove. 
Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! You're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! They're shooting at their own horses, do they not realize? We're waddling like big mans. There's the Braithwaite girl in this wall shed. It's like an Arabian. Yeah, it's not. Oh shit, I shot the horse. Not happy for that. It's cruel. That didn't take much time. That could have gone sooner. You think well, no, sorry, not sooner, smoother. For horses. I guess we'll see. That's quite funny, though. Name your next horse, my nan. Grandma. The great grandma, sir. Come here. Hello, sir. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. Is that so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. 
Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah! What a clever sir. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Put some money in the camp. Make it standard. Contribute to the ledger. Do 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 do. Give money. A whole lot of it. That is what I like to see. They could have sold the horses in Saint Denis. Maybe, but I don't think they were thinking about going that far. See, you know, contrary to, um, there's the game map and then there's the canon sort of world that it's in. In the canon world, everything's on a higher scale, so when they're traveling, they're actually traveling further than the map makes you think. Everything's sort of condensed for gameplay's sake, but as far as lore is concerned, there's actually more distance between the locations. Charles, good to see you back on your feet. No rest for the wicked. It's a horse here. What kind of horse is it? It's a Tennessee Walker. Always cool. You okay? Thanks again for coming fishing with me. We should do that again sometime. Uh, we'll see. All right. Well, I should be getting on. See you. Arthur. What are your thoughts on Cubans? And could you explain why you like don't like them? I'm indifferent towards yeah. Cubans. I think they're pretty sound. I've never really met a Cuban, so I can't judge Cubans. Cubans. But I have no reason to dislike Cubans, so yeah, that's my, those are my thoughts on Cubans. Um, I want a horse like Brown Jack. Oh my god. <laughs> Wasn't me. Okay, I take my eye off the road for one moment and a guy with a horse just appears out of nowhere. Let's go let's get rid of that bounty in Valentine first, shall we? I think that's important because otherwise we'll have huge bounties to pay off. There's no man here. There's no fucker here. I'm not happy about that. There's Bill in Rhodes. A short walk in a pretty town. I've been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? 
We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about Bourne and their fears? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these Grey Boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're still oh, in the middle of some ancient feud. But instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. Mm, goodbye, Sean. I shot him right in his ass, okay. Oh dear god. Is that necessary? You're getting sloppy, Morgan. Do you see that window and Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about slap. Better in here, not there. <laughs> so out of health. So Sean is deceased. I love that. Oh no. Wish they would give a special grip for the Schofield revolver or something people would use. Have you seen have you found Sean Grave in the epilogue? Uh I don't know. Look at Sean's dead body. Here's a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before, 
They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. You don't look a homeless man anymore. Oh, no. Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Well, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Maka? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. It's not a good time, that one. Well, I can guarantee now we're wanted like shit. If all the cannon pistols are shit, all pistols are. Well, you know, if it's quick, maneuverable, and kills people, that's what the problem is. He's like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. A short walk in pretty town. And that's a. I love the um, <laughs> I love the mission names in games like this because it's just mocking the ever-loving shit, right out of um, the game. What's my bounty and roads then? Pretty fucking bad. I go in there, they'll kill me. Essentially, is what it's trying to say. So right, I have no interest in going back there. I have more interest in going back to camp to wrap up chapter three. Sounds like a good place to uh, kick off, doesn't it? Slowing me down. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. I hear him saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Oh, what the hell happened to the time of day? <laughs> One moment it's day, the next moment it's like mid-evening, and next it's the middle of the night. It's a big posse moment. I love this uh, this entire mission. Ah, oh, Joe's here. How you doing, Joe? I'm reason I've just been busy with work and uni results came back. How are your uni results? That's the question. 
If unless you don't want to share. Kill that brother woman. I miss Jack the Jackal. He never comes here, goddamn traitor. Well, he's about sometimes. Get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can. Come on, us. Arthur, move. I don't think so. Ah, yes. Cutscene time. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches. John, I need you to stay calm. Look at this. Absolute scene. Get down here now, you inbred trash. What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, might not, might not be able to make the meal, to be honest. Alright, need to do some reassessments. Oh, crikey. The way you do Hand him Your weapon condition is abysmal. That's nah, fine. I just don't use it often. Watch it still kill people just fine. Civilized about this. Let's clean it while we have the time. Oh, no. Oh, dear God. Why did you climb that thing? To turn down the color. Why? Use the fucking cover then. I shot him in his nipples. There we go. Now's a good con now's a good time to uh Arthur, John, stay with me. Let's clean this fucking thing then. I'm cleaning my gun. Is that okay? That's not a bad mash, it's a Right, okay, dead eye core as well, that needs sorting out. Should kick the door in, really, because they already know we're here. Okay. Oh, 
All right, we're walking up the stairs then. Shotgun it is. Actually, the shotgun might need cleaning as well because I do like... Oh, not too bad. But we'll, we'll bring it up to its best because we can. That's a man shot in his face. We're shooting up an entire mansion. Allow me to scram this, yeah? I'm gonna shoot this guy a million times because I can. Just realised it was a waste of everything. Help John break the door. Come on, this must be it. I can't see a goddamn thing. One, two, three. Okay, the boys are in. They're burning this place. <laughs> the manner after the mission, you get a brooch and a gold bar. Yeah, I know. I've played the game before. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Brady? 
Wait, wait. You stole the boys my are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. Angelo my Bronto. It's Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. She has to die with a gaff and her kids. What an absolute mental woman she is. So we've wiped out the greys and the braithways. Well, but well. We sort of ended that feud, haven't we, by just, you know getting right royally involved <laughs> yeah it's pure out, well John. gonna work out listen to Dutch now, I don't expect you to understand this but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now brother you're doing the right thing if I don't get that boy back safe um she she'll kill us all I know but looking at this logically well, that boy is fine they took him to scare us Nobody takes a boy to harm him. <laughs> Peter Falls. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back. Poor woman. I don't feel sympathy for her. She Just should die. Hey, Dutch. We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Winkle. Uh huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites and as a consequence that lets you take what you please kill whom you please and hang the rest of us who made you the messiah of these lost oh, souls beautiful. exactly I'm but well the feud ended how it was going to end anyway but the gang did have the uh, they did hate the process along but i came to make a deal it's time you come with me and i give the rest of you three days to run off Disappear, Don't call Pinkerton's retards, they already sued Rockstar. As they would do. For me, risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love. <laughs> Ain't that fine? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. I do like this scene. Stop following us. We'll be gone. Soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. 
few days. It's all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Follow me. I know the way. <laughs> I don't know why I want Dutch's hat in real life. Standard procedure. It's a lovely time for a lovely man. Chapter 4 is quite long, isn't it? I mean, Chapter 3 was supposed to be... Is I guess it is long, but it's not that long. But I know Chapter 4 is quite long, because something is, you know... It's, it's designed to make you just want to um, go through slowly. Because there's so much to explore and find and all that in the city, like the uh, vampire. The things that you run into, the ute bags, that's the burned Braithwaite house, which is quite fascinating. They are Fedora instead. We chose this life, he didn't. I don't know, I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. My horse needs brushing. Hmm. See so what we can do for the horse. We were ever who we thought we was. I got told you. Don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, All right. Could be just down this path to the left here. What was I talking about? Mm. I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look. You're here now. And this spot we're going to is close to San Denis. As soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure. Enough. Sword off shotgun. Doesn't even need cleaning. The dirtier it is, the better. Can't go far wrong with this kind of gun. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you. That's a man without a head. I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. Carpet Sorry, he was going to kill himself. So. I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? I love doing that. I love that, that moment there where he was, he was going to kill himself, but instead of letting him kill himself, I killed him before he could. I love that. I'm, I'm a clever man. I'm very smart and good. Uh, oh dear, I should stop tooting my own horn and start shooting people. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. No. I don't want the others walking into this. Can you grab that one there? Chapter 4 also has Guama. No, Chapter 5 is Guama. Like, 
chapter five is Guama, and then when you get back, that's chapter six. Which is the longest of the lot. Um, in you go. I get fully involved with my jumping into the water. Yeah, Guama is its own chapter. <laughs> chapter 5, Micah's beer belly. Doesn't have to be in good shape, he's an outlaw. Lenny! You're still chapter 5 until you move your camp to the caves. Yeah, that is true. But it's chapter 5 in Guama, and then you get back. Then once you get to the caves, that's chapter 6, which is when most of it's at. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. This shit kind of looks like Micah. No, I don't. Here, Arthur. Everything went okay? What? <laughs> you loose hands. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. Taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lick. Watch out! I hmm? truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. Leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Oh, there's a rainbow as well. Lovely. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter four. Chapter four, Saint Denis. Interrupt him again. We're in Saint Denis. Look out! Fall the hell down! Hey there, mister! Hi there, mister! We could 
Let's get that honor up a little bit. We haven't actually done much for the honor today. How's their fuck? We've been here a whole five seconds. By the newspapers. Happy to join us mod as a mod decides to show scat porn as best porn. Oh no. Eugenics for beginners. Hey, mister. You, sir, do you want a pamphlet? No, you pathetic moron. Moron? These are facts. I bet you imagine a world where your grandchildren are subservient to monkeys. You're pathetic. Hey folks. Oh, Ma'am. Well, hey. Gentlemen. Hey folks. Hey there, mister. Behind you, ma'am. And didn't lose honor for pushing a racist, and I'm happy about it. It's gotta be done. The game designed itself to have you do that, I think. Hey, mister. Hello, sir. Beat the crap out of him. Nah, I would've get would have got arrested. Hey, would have been a great kickoff to my time. I think pushing him and he got the message. Hi there, mister. Uh, hey there, mister. Howdy. You know a good place, get some food? I don't know. I was just asking. What's your story now? Oh, there's a... You see that? Some shit we can do before we actually get kick-started on this... Can anybody show me some kindness? Hello, sir. Uh, please. You. Yes. Please. Coin. Please. Yeah, have some money. Just gave me some booze. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Okay, my girl. I hate asking. Hey, friend. Goddamn worm. Hi there. Hello. Hey, mister. Hey, partner. This is a lovely sir time. You don't arrest you when you do. You're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Sure, I'll take a look.
$100 reward for Lindsay Wofford, leader of the Le Moyne Raiders. It's on the back. So fuck all. Camp's your dead or alive. He is wanted for raising a militia against the state, un-American activities, murder and adultery. The gang is spotted in Mossy Flats region. All reward claims to be filled out and paid out in f To be filed out and p will be paid out in full by B. Lambert. Okay. Yeah. Quickly do a, let's quickly do a save while we can. This guy's about to give me a tip on the guy, isn't he? The outlaws do they have long hair? Indeed. I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamont Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. The bounty. Why are you making this feather someone else's problem? We, sir, are an urban police force. And the Raiders are, well, mostly a rural nuisance. My men simply are not suited for this kind of work. This feather in particular, Wofford, ain't it? Why him? You cut off the head, the body dies. That's the hypothesis, at least. We shall see if it can be demonstrated with the Lamoan Raiders. If the bounties for this whole outfit, you should have made it more. Guess all the remains is to bring him in. What state they come in in will be the old state. May justice be done. Hey there, partner. Good evening, sir. Let's brush my boy. Let's get you looking good. Giving the horse a brush outside a police station in Saint Denis. I'm off to a great start. You all right, girl? Let's go. Who's this guy? Oh. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation I can loot the lock on the founder's plaque when the building is completed. Okay. <laughs> you have a great day, Mr. Morgan. It's a lovely old place, is Santony. Let's head to the um I want to pay off my bounty before we, you know, amass any more. Chris, destroyer of spam. Oh, theater. Why are you doing this? Yeah, I like the theater. Oh no. No, why is it that when you do one little thing, your honor goes down significantly? But when you do honorable things, it goes up, it goes up not at all. This game does not want you to be honorable. It's that simple.
Pull out, guys. I'm gonna wiggle. I want no trouble here, okay? Good. Glad you're gonna be civil in my station. You must have done some real trouble to acquire this kind of price in your head. Hi there, mister. Hey there, folks. Evening. There we go. Can't treat people with respect. What's the point? I say. That's so. Hey, y'all. Well, hey. Mister. So you're just trying to get that that hey. honor up. Hey, Mister. Hey there, Mister. Hey. All Evening, right, Mister. Buenas tardes, señor. Mister. Evening, mister. Hey, mister. Nice evening. Howdy. You have a good evening now. Hey there. Evening, T. Nice evening. Howdy. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the And here we are. Inspect the mysterious writing. We found the boy. <laughs> I like that nut. Five buns under the perfect star. Nosferatu with Dominica will become mortal again. Hey, sir. Hello, mister. Okay. Let's get hunting, shall we? It's going to be difficult hunting while we're actually looking for Bronte, so I think I'll save that. No, I need to continue playing Odyssey because it gets the views, and I'm happy with that because I get to ban more people. Indeed, it's a it's a win-win situation. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to conclude this lovely stream. I'll probably be back with more later, knowing me. So I won't I won't be gone for long, but I'm going to conclude it for now so that we can continue with part 9 later. Just stops all the parts from getting stupidly long or longer than each other and, you know, just being a bit inconsistent. I don't like that. But I do think we'll be alive again later. Who knows? Just, you know, keep an ear out. Anyways, let's have a look, see what this video's on, views-wise. The video I put out a couple hours ago, three hours ago. 712, that's not very good, but okay, cool. What can you do? So, thank you all for coming along to this stream. I hope you enjoyed the video and all that. We haven't gained any subscribers, which makes me very unhappy. But, you know what? Cool. It's been a couple hours. Okay, so I'll see you all very soon with another video or stream at some point. But until then, well, until later anyways, I'll see you. Uh, well, goodbye. So, yeah.